Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3 back with another kicking action figure review. Uh, this is a really cool figure, alright? I don't normally collect these anymore, but I just had to have this. Alright, it is the Jurassic World Indoraptor from Mattel. And wow, is it big! I didn't expect it to be as big as it is. It was actually uh, marked for $30 at Walmart, but it rang up for $20 which was really nice because it's worth more than 20 bucks just because of the size it's a big figure uh, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can take a gander at this big old boy <laughs> oh it's probably a woman but still uh, <laughs> sorry uh, my little edge of my display was coming up there but I mean here it is the Indoraptor in all its glory from the second Jurassic World film what a beautiful beast. I wish they would have made a figure like this for more dinosaurs. I wish they would have done one for um, the Indominus Rex as well when the first one, well, first one came out, you know, quote unquote. It's really the fourth one. But, um, wow. Wow indeed. Screonk! Uh, it's a really nice figure, uh, very well articulated. Uh, and very well designed, all, all in all. Articulation-wise, you got a jaw that opens and closes, a must-have on predatory dinosaur figures. Uh, nice head movement all around, more in the neck also. Arms, great movement there. Uh, really, really good. See all that? All this movement in the arms. Then we move down to the legs, in and out, forward and back, knee bend, swivel, Bend, swivel, uh, there you go, that's better. Uh, all this movement in the tail, this part too, little, little waggles, <laughs> it wiggles and turns and everything. It's real nice, real poseable, he can balance so the tail doesn't have to touch the ground if you don't want it to. He balances quite well actually, he's, he's a very well balanced figure, you just have to get his feet flat on the ground, which is hard to do on the surface I'm on. There you go, see? Totally, uh... Totally fucking flat. Oh man, that's a beautiful figure. Just look at that nice shiny black, like he's wet, almost. Looks really nice. All the teeth are individually painted. Uh, painted tongue, detailed roof of the mouth. The eyes look really good. They did a good job on the eyes. Eyes are something that are easily fucked up on figures, so that's really nice that they got them right. The gold stripe down the, down the side. Beautiful design, I like the little spines. Good looking monster. Uh, I, you can call this a monster instead of a dinosaur if you like. Technically you can call them all monsters because they're not actual dinosaurs. Especially this one though, since it was not a dinosaur that occurred naturally at any point in time. Very cool. Uh, I accidentally touched my mic there, so I hope that didn't fuck anything up. But, I mean, just wowzers. What a cool fucking figure. Look at that. Screonk. Uh, okay, now I'm going to do some size comparisons. Uh, there is one problem, though. I do actually have a bunch of Jurassic Park figures from the first, second, and third films. They are, however, all in storage. Uh, because I don't really display or collect Jurassic Park anymore. Uh, <laughs> said the guy who just bought the brand new Jurassic World figure, of course. But, I'm, yeah, I got this before the movie came out, and I'm recording this before the movie came out. But, I mean, I couldn't pass this sucker up. It was just too nice. It was just too nice. This is definitely adult collectible tier. If you're an adult and you want to collect these things and you think all the other dinosaurs are too toyish, too childish like I do, not really worth the buck, uh, this one is definitely worth the buck. The $30 would have still been worth it, but I'm really glad I got it for $20. Uh, so I am going to show it with, with several other figures, um, but they're not really going to be super related to it. Like, I'm going to show it with a standard Marvel Legend. Alright, here's uh, just the Shocker. I'm using him because he's on hand and he's got the Bucky Cap mold. Really common mold for Marvel Legends. So that's how it looks of a Marvel Legend. Actually really good size, I think. Look how big he is compared to just a regular 6-inch figure. Uh, very, very cool. 
I've also got uh, some more monstery related figures. If you want to see them with more like monster stuff, uh, here he is with a Godzilla, like a NECA Godzilla. I know they're nowhere close to size, uh, lore wise and stuff, but uh, just to show them with some other monster figures. So if you want to display them with your monsters, this is a regular six inch size Godzilla, NECA Atomic Blast 2001 Godzilla. Um, that's that. Uh, there's still like several other things you could display them with, uh, like Robot Spirits. Here you have a Gypsy Avenger from Robot Spirits, um, just doing its thing, just being chill. <laughs> Not a lot of fuss or anything. Uh, a Power Ranger figure. Here is the Gold Lion Fire Armor Ranger from Ninja Steel, Super Ninja Steel. Pretty tiny compared to Indoraptor here, but you do what you gotta do. So that's just um, the Indoraptor with several different lines and stuff. Uh, because all my dinosaurs, even my non-Jurassic Park dinosaurs, are really stored away. I mean, this, this figure isn't going straight to storage or anything, but... Uh, might even motivate me to get some out of storage. I just don't know where I'd put them, though. Don't know where I'd put them. They're an important part of my childhood, so I can't sell them. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is a really cool figure. All in all, one of my final thoughts on the Mattel Jurassic World Indoraptor. Uh, it's an amazing deluxe figure. I really, really like it. Uh, if you're a big dinosaur fan, a big Jurassic World fan, it's a must-have for you, honestly. Uh, <clears throat> it would make a good desk toy if you're not much of a collector, but really like dinosaurs. Uh, and if you are much of a collector, then you really need this because it's really good. It's a really good-looking figure. It's a really well-functioning figure. I think this will be a very fun figure for adults and kids alike. So if you're watching this to decide if you should get something for your kid, uh, and your kid likes Jurassic World and dinosaurs and stuff, this is still a good choice. It's a little on the pricey side if you want to get your kid a dinosaur, but um, if you want to get him the best, this is the best. Uh, but it's also really good for adult collectors as well. I don't think you'll be disappointed in the quality at all. So that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I will be seeing you all later.